Rescuers at the flooded cave in Thailand are rushing to get those water levels down, trying to save 12 boys and their soccer coach. Crews are also looking for a possible entrance from the top to see if they could potentially airlift the team out. CBS has been tracing is outside the cave in northern Thailand. Emergency workers are racing to pump out the excess water from the flooded cave, trying to bring the levels down so it's safer to attempt to rescue the boys. They're drilling through rocks to make room for hoses, which have already helped remove more than 31 million gallons of water. Doctors are treating and feeding the young soccer players who are being given a crash course in swimming and how to wear dive masks in case they have to make the dangerous attempt to swim out of the dark and narrow cavern. The children who are aware of the cave, they know the cave, they've been in the cave very often, so... We just have to assess everything at the moment. Uh, we have to see what the conditions bring. Several sections of the cave remain flooded, including an area that requires full diving equipment. Rescue workers hope they can drain enough water to eliminate long stretches where the boys would have to keep their heads underwater. Tanawat is the father of the youngest boy trapped in the cave, an 11-year-old known as Titan. Are you worried about how they're going to try to get them out of the cave? He says, I believe the SEAL team can make it happen. I have faith. Tunawat says the Thai Navy SEALs have not told the families when or if they will attempt the dangerous rescue. And he knows it may be safer for his son to stay in the cave until the water recedes. Once your son finally comes home, what's the first thing you're going to say to him? Me and your mother were waiting for you, and we love you. Now, I did ask Titan's father if he blames the 25 year old soccer coach who apparently went into the cave with these boys despite the risk. He says he does not. He says he's a good guy and that he gave these kids all of the food and water that he had until rescuers arrived. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Chiang Rai, Thailand.